Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. Have you had a long day, mate? No, I've had a long Hard day. Hard being you, innit? This last two nights been up since till three or four in the morning. Then grafting my nuts off all day. No one care, got to go back, get me stuff from the hotel, got to go to New York for Haney Garcia. No one cares. No one says, hey, feeling Eddie, you all right? Do you know I've been here since, I don't know, nine o'clock this morning. Do you, know many, many, do you know many people have asked me if I want something to eat? None. Do you know what the time is now? What is it, four o'clock? I've had no breakfast, no lunch, no one's asked me if I want a drink, no one cares, and then I come out and you go, come on, mate, I've been waiting an hour, 20 minutes. I mean, do you know it's just, all it is is you, you, you. Do you know what? I'll be honest with you, it's not that no one cares, it's that no one gives a fuck. Right, whether. No you. one cares, mate. I know. Right. But it's, I don't think that's right. Sorry. What do you want? No what do you want to asked, drink? No one ever asked me. Frank, Frank Warren's had sandwiches all day. You know, Andy Puro asked me how I am. He starts off, he goes, Oh, this is Andy Puro for Boxing News. Uh, I'm joined by Eddie Andy's not here. How are you, Eddie? Andy's not he here. He always does. When have you ever gone? You know, you've never phoned me up. You've never messaged me. You've never walked past me at any moment or in any interview and gone, How are you, mate? Listen, when you wake up in silk pyjamas, like I said, no one gives a fuck, so... How are you, mate? Anyway, always, actually. Oh, there you go. I actually ask you all the time when I start my interview, how are you, Eddie? Always, check them back. Really? And and I, so, yeah, but you don't care. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's very hollow. I've got a little... Anyway, can I, can, I, can I just read you something back? Quickly, this is quite interesting, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, wait there. Look at Bunty, look. See, so, you know, I He's hear a I hear a friend, and I'm, 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 I'm like Eddie. No breakfast, look, no lunch, no supper. That was yesterday. Who Today, no breakfast, no supper, no lunch. It's the truth. Asked you how you are. No, not so. Not one single so, Ed. How are you doing today, mate? You're struggling? Fantastic, mate. You're looking unbelievable. Thank you very much, Well, well done, Bunty. Thanks for the flat No back. problem, son. That's Thank what you. I'm here for. Um, do you know what, yeah? Generally, yeah, there was a post... I've just come up on my phone today, yeah? And it's like, British Boxing Chat. Shout out, Brit British Boxing Chat. And this is it. <laughs> right? Mm. Describe Eddie Hearn in one word. Mm. Can I reel off some of the things that people have done? What, 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 what do you want to do? Not only not care for me... <laughs> this, is quite, this would then, be a banter. Then, then belittle me. No, hold on. Some of it might be good. Go so I'm just going to randomly pick some out. Go on. Right. <laughs> the first one... Wanker, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. But look, that, you can read them out. That's who wrote that on there. <laughs> <laughs> right, second-hand car salesman. Fair. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it begins with C. Q, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Rich, smart, clever, um, ambitious, ones. greedy, loaded, pillock, blessed, boss man, grabber, gentleman, <laughs> relentless, legend, ponce, Boss, talented, and another wanker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not, not all of the above apply, yeah. quite frankly. Apart from the daddy one, I'm not sure what that's all about. That's jokes. <laughs> 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 right, Eddie, I've got to ask you, what on earth is going on July 20th? With, with Katie? Yeah, what's, we, what's happening we, now? We've been negotiating the fight for, I don't know, probably close to a month. Um, we received uh, a great offer an opportunity from Nikisa, an MVP. Um, I want to particularly thank the zone, who you know, really allowed our fighter to take that opportunity. Many broadcasters wouldn't. Um, and it's a, it's a great fight for her. You know, we believe she's going to win the fight comfortably. Um, obviously, we had plans to go in Ireland. That's on the back burner till after the Serrano fight, but it was the right opportunity for Katie Taylor. I'm very confident she's going to win. So, the zone couldn't kind of match what Netflix were putting on the oh, table? She was just, you know, the offer was received. I spoke to Brian Peters. We negotiated the offer. We spoke to the zone. And we felt that it was the right fight at the right time. Um, so, you know, we, Sean Palmer, done a great job with Nikisa to get it over the line. Um, again, you know, I feel like it's... Of course, we're all, we all want to make the biggest fights on our respective platforms, but a fighter also sometimes receives an opportunity that 
you know, we're, we're hopeful that there can be common sense to allow them to, to take that. So I'm not involved in the promotion of the show. That's part of the, you know, discussions with, with the zone. But I'm fully behind her for, for the fight and we believe she'll be victorious. And then we look forward to locking in the fight after that once she's beaten Serrano again. How do you feel about it being on an undercard of Jake Paul and Mike Tyson? Um, you know, I feel like... I know, obviously, it adds some legitimacy to the event, which is what needed. So I don't really look at the card. I just look at the opportunity for Katie. That's all I care about is making sure she gets the right opportunities. I think she beats Amanda Serrano again. The offer was fantastic. We take it. Um, I'm assuming with Netflix, if you have Netflix, you can watch this card, correct? Absolutely no idea. Did you ask that? Nope, I couldn't care less. It was just... The, the opportunity for Katie Taylor. I don't know anything about it's not it. It's Netflix pay-per-view, is I it? Absolutely. Genuinely, I have no idea. I'm sure that you'll find that in due course. And, you know, this was just, is this the right move for Katie? And the answer was yes. OK, July 20th. Um, summary of today for it was Brilliant. press conference of yesterday. Like, I don't know great the feeling. But there's been a great feeling. The fighters are over the moon. Um, I've not seen this much reaction, uh, content, numbers, intrigue, narrative, excitement about a fight night for a long time. I mean, you're also forgetting Biv Old Better Biv is on the card. We do forget that, I think, right. in the midst of Because the 5v5 has just gone like a skyrocket. And it's the first of many. I mean, you've now seen His Excellency talk about the Wembley show that myself and Frank are working on with him. and. It's just the beginning, just the beginning. Huge things ahead for our fighters, and that's that's what matters. You fly out to New York tomorrow yeah. for the start of fight week for um, Haney and Garcia. Um, I mean, every week we're asking you your opinion on kind of Garcia's latest uh, antics or whatever on social media. I mean, have you read read it from the last couple of days? Uh, I haven't really seen it too much on social media the last couple of days, but he's not behaving in his normal fashion. Um, I don't think it's a troll or whatever it is. I just think he's acting differently. See, so yeah, mate, I think this week you're going to see up close under the microscope of the media. It's going to be difficult for him, you know, and I, Devin is ready. Um, I expect him to win the fight in dominant fashion on Saturday night. Um, I heard you say earlier you're umming and ahhing over who wins out of Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk on May the 18th. Yeah, just backwards and forwards. It's such a 50-50 fight, you know, but hoping Tyson does the business. But who do you think's winning that fight at, at the moment? At the moment, Alexander Usyk on points. But last week, I thought Tyson Fury on points. Just saw a picture of him and he had a short haircut and I thought he looked like a bit of a nutter. So, yeah, that was, that was the scientific reason behind the pick. Well, you actually be serious? I thought he looked in great shape. Yeah. I think he's ready. But Fury will be ready. You've just announced a show in Birmingham yes, on the 22nd show. of June. Tell us about Huge card. Uh, Tyler Denny against Felix Cash, European middleweight title. Connell Walker against uh, Lewis Crocker. What a fight. Um, Cameron Vong against Jordan Flynn. Going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully everything goes all right for that. Absolutely. And Shannon Ryan as well in a really big fight for her career. And, and much more coming on that card. Going to do a lot of tickets that night. You know, speaking to Frank and George, they went to Birmingham recently to Resorts World. Did a great gate as well with Nathan Heaney, and we're going to sell a lot of tickets that night. So June 22, lock in. We'll see you in Birmingham. How many shows do you think you'll have domestically in June and July? Uh, two, two. Yeah, two. June and July, two shows. All right, Eddie, uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, I think you're free to go now. Thanks, mate. No, I've got to do boxing social. Thank you very much for your well, time, Edward. Hiding down there somewhere, but uh, there's, there is a door there. So. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.